<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I have an RDA today. This is a single coil RDA. This is the Drop Solo. It's the newer version of the Drop Solo. When the original Drop RDA came out, I personally wasn't a real big fan of it. I don't love the Drop style deck. It's just not my favorite deck. And when the Drop 1.5 came out, yeah, it was pretty good. It was kind of a little banger. I still don't love that drop deck. But when the original drop solo came out, the original single coil guy, I kind of preferred that to the actual drop. I liked the single coil version of the drop. Well, now in 2021, we have the newest, most updatedest version of the drop solo. Single coil deck. Unfortunately, it is that same drop deck. So unfortunately, it's just not my favorite deck, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. We're going to drop down and build this right now. We'll come back and talk about it. I should have chapters all across this video. Let us go. <clears throat> all right. Yeehaw. Well, this is the drop solo. It's sort of in this really, really slick and cool like gun metal finish. I, I re I'm really stoked to the way this, this particular color of this RDA looks, man. It has a very standard issue 510 drip tip. It has a split style top cap, meaning your airflow, yeah, it's gonna turn like this. This is actually really smooth and glidey, and I know we're not at the dislikes yet, but it's a little bit too loose. All the drops and the drop solo have that little notch, that's the drop notch, so that your top cap kinda always ends up in the same position, and then when you get down here to the deck, yeah, it's it's the drop solo deck. It's, it's half of a drop deck. Flathead screws come in from the back to secure your leads. It's the drop deck. It's real, real straightforward. Let's drop a coil in here right now. Back these flathead screws out. Really opens up those real wide post holes. Why are those two different sizes? Why am I just noticing this now? Why is the front of this post much skinnier than the front of this post? I don't understand that. Shouldn't those be identical? Am I crazy? Those are definitely two different sizes. Hey, all right. I mean, yeah, it's the drop deck, so it's super, super easy. You can literally just drop your coil in. That's why it's called the drop deck. Don't pre-cut your leads yet. You can just really drop it down in there because you're going to need to position this coil. You're going to kind of need to hold this in place while you're screwing down those screws because you want to leave enough length on your legs to be able to bend this coil over and down into the deck so it gets in front of your airflow. So like I said, I'm just gonna kinda use my fingers to hold the coil up just a little bit while I screw down these screws. And then while your coil is just hovering up here in the ether, you're gonna stick your tool in here and you're gonna bend it down towards the deck. And here's the kind of coil that this deck creates. One with a huge crazy angle right here and then a big crimp, which is completely unnecessary. And then on this side, you have this other crazy looking coil where your leg goes way up and then makes this like 90 degree angle and goes straight back down. You probably should clip your leads before you bend your coil down like that. So so I'm gonna have to clip them now, it's fine. The way the drop is, you can still get in there to clip them. Do some pulsing and strumming here, get this coil glowing. Shout out to Drip Theory for the alien coil. Yep, yep, glowing real nice. Cotton in here. Fluff your wicks if you want to. This is the first time I'm trying it on this. It does generally help with that capillary action. Just do a little quick job like that. Just do a little quick job like that. One thing I would definitely recommend is push your cotton off to the sides because you're gonna have airflow traveling between these two posts and you want that airflow getting to your coil. Getting to it, over it, under it, all around it. I will say the drop solo is pretty great for blowing your liquid right through the middle. You're basically dripping directly on your coil. Yeah, vapors. Real straightforward. Cap goes on with the tabs lining up. Love those cotton hairs down there. Ew, 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 ew. You see the coil through the airflow? Can you see the coil through the airflow? Yeah, it's kind of right there in front of it. Pop that AFC on. I'm just gonna leave this full open for right now, even though it is quite airy. Get that drip tip back on and you have a fully completed, fully assembled, ready to vape drop solo 1.5. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape it. This came out right to a 0.2. I've only got it at 56 watts right now. I got the airflow closed down about halfway. <sighs> Qu 
quite the enjoyable vape, I will say. Let's jump straight into some likes and dislikes about the Drop 1.5. What do I really like about the Drop 1.5? Uh, not a whole ton. I like vaping it. Overall, I really do like the aesthetic of it. I think it's a slick little RDA. The construction, the fit and finish is mostly pretty good on it. I guess what I really like about the Drop 1.5 is the flavor. Assuming you turn down that airflow a little bit, the flavor on this is quite banging. Quite, quite tasty. I do also really like being able to just drip, just blow your liquid right through the drip tip. It's basically falling straight onto your coil so you know you're gonna get like a moist, saturated, dense vape. I almost said daturated. Super daturated. Things I dislike about the Drop Solo 1.5, I don't know, I guess most everything else. I just really do not like the Drop Deck, but let me explain why. And yeah, I'm using right now as a flashback as to why I dislike this deck so much. So the holes in the top, the screws on the back. The whole benefit of this is so that you don't have to pre-clip your leads. You can just drop your coil in and clip your leads afterwards, after you make sure that you have enough room and clearance and all of that stuff. What is the difference between this and putting the screw on the top and the post holes in the front? Because you could still arbitrarily just stick your coil in there. You wouldn't have to pre-clip your leads. You could just screw down the screws and the leads that are poking out the back could be flush cut with the posts. And then you'd have a coil installed in your deck that you didn't have to bend over the post holes to get down to the airflow. Never really enjoyed the drop deck and I can't see why in 2021 they, they really, they kept this going, didn't they? I'm also not incredibly in love with the airflow. When it's full open, it's a lot of airflow. I feel like it's just way too much airflow, especially for a single coil. When you run this full open, on a single coil, your flavor level goes down dramatically. If you want good flavor on the Drop 1.5, you're going to have to close off that airflow, like I showed you about halfway, but that still kind of even bums me out too, and I'll explain why. All right, real quickly, let me explain why I don't like this airflow. Full open, yeah, it's real big, real airy, so I like to close it down a little bit. Now the problem with this is now that the airflow is closed down because of these notches, that airflow, it's not pointing directly at my coils anymore. Your coil is just in a static spot and normally I could close down this airflow and then rotate the whole top cap so that these holes are directly pointing at my coils. You can't do that in the Drop Solo 1.5 and that kind of bums me out. So yeah, it is the newest, most updatedest version of Honestly, a rather old design that I didn't love very much to begin with. And in addition to that, this airflow on the Drop Solo 1.5, it does that thing that just annoys the ever-loving piss out of me where it just feels uneven. Two airflow holes or two airflow slots, you know, on equal sides of the top cap, but one, because it's against those posts of the deck, is pulling in substantially less air than the one that's in front of your coils. And that uneven airflow feeling, that just bothers me. And, and while we're on the subject of the AFC, I guess my least favorite part of the AFC is it's it's just real loose. It spins around and slides around real easy. And this top O-ring just feels real super weak. It just falls off at the drop of a hat. You do get a slight little clicky, like not quite Kennedy clicky, but a little bit of like a clicky O-ring when you pop it down. And so I went, oh, that's really cool. And then I was I was bummed to learn that it's it's not strong. It's just snap without any strength behind it. And that's a bummer to me. That flavor is good. And that Drip Theory coil that I installed in this is giving me some uh, real, real nice crackle. Let's do Budget Alien Bananas, Vape Budget Hands for the Drop Solo 1.5. I would I would give that a firm no. Clicking around the internet, I've seen this as low as $25 and maybe, maybe as high as $30. So for a single coil little RDA, no real vape budget hands needed if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come to my house and take all my vape gear, you know, because of the children and I have nothing left to vape as a, an adult 
of age smoker. Sorry, the Aliens game just never got me this worked up before. Starting with nothing, having no vape gear is the Drop Solo 1.5 something I would seek out and buy like right away. Probably not. If you position your coil correctly and you adjust your airflow and close it off a little bit, you can have a real great flavorful vape experience with the Drop Solo 1.5. But this RDA isn't giving me anything so great and unique that I would go, yes, this, this can only be achieved on the Drop Solo 1.5. For all the reasons I've said and more, I'm gonna bestow some banana stickers upon this Drop 1.5, this Drop Solo 1.5. I think it's gonna land in like the three and a half banana sticker area. Yes, it's new and it's updated, but it's an old design of a design that I didn't really enjoy to begin with. I don't like the uneven airflow. I don't like the weak O-rings and I really, at the end of the day, really, really dislike that drop deck. I can't put any shopping links down in the description, but the link I can put down in the description is to the NYU School of Global Public Health. They analyzed the CDC's National Youth Tobacco Survey from 2019, and what they found was that most young people do not vape, and even fewer vape regularly. Those researchers feared that the youth vaping epidemic might have been a little bit overblown. But that's not me talking, that's just science. So yeah, no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's absolutely keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 